Hi, this is Brian Charbert with TCS and welcome to this Ubiquity Tech Tip video on Ubiquistat programming. In this video, we'll show you how to read the programming from a controller to Ubiquity and then also how to write a program from Ubiquity to the controller. So to get started, you can either open up the controllers tab or click on one of the icons and then from there, click on the programming button. Uh, so the information on the programming uh, page, uh, it reflects the last time the stat was either read into Ubiquity or written from Ubiquity. So first we're going to talk about reading a controller. Uh, now if we go to the bottom of the page to read a controller, we can click right here on the read controller button. And by clicking on that, uh, you're asking that the program from the controller replaces the program on the current Ubiquity page. And this read request will also return to the site homepage. Now it's important to remember that Ubiquity is a cloud service. So this request for reading the controller will queue up in Ubiquity and wait until the Ubiquity uh, gateway connects from the, from the site. Uh, also this QD2040 gateway is a polling device. So it typically initiates connection to the Ubiquity cloud once a minute. So the next time the QD2040 gateway uh, connects to Ubiquity. It will take the read request, disconnect from Ubiquity, and then retrieve the information from the controller. And then finally it'll write the uh, data back to Ubiquity on the next polling cycle. So the whole process from initiating the read to actually doing the read and pushing it back up to Ubiquity takes at least two polling cycles to complete, so that may take several minutes. So then writing controller is uh, pretty much the same way, only only a little bit reverse of the process. So here, you're making changes on the, on the page itself, not caring what is actually programmed on the thermostat. So any changes that you make here, when you hit the read button down at the bottom, excuse me, the submit button down at the bottom, you are submitting everything on that page uh, to, the, uh, to that controller. Uh, so again, that request for writing queues up in Ubiquity, returns it to the home page. And when the QD2040 connects to Ubiquity, it'll take that write request, disconnect from Ubiquity, and then write those new programming parameters uh, down to that controller uh, from Ubiquity. And again, this takes several minutes to complete. Now you can verify that by checking the monitoring page after several minutes to allow for the polling cycles to take place and confirm the new monitored programming values have been written to the controller. So anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our TCS YouTube channel and remember to check back for more in-depth Ubiquity Tech Tip videos.